Hello, welcome to the Unity Podcast and a special Yarn Deal episode. My name is Kelly and this is my friend Jane. And we are two UK designers wanting to share our lives, basically. Yeah. So we popped off to Yarndale this weekend just gone. No, last weekend. It feels so long ago, Jane. <laughs> At the time of recording, it was yesterday, but it feels like ages away. And <laughs> we thought we would share a few little bits with you of us going around Yarndale and what we got up to. And then our lovely haul that we came home with. A few little bits. Just just a bit. Strap in. Just a people. bit. Yeah. You're going to need snacks, minimum. Oh, to yes. Get through this. I did save up for a while, in my defence. I saved up for about six months, and then I put a pattern sale on to top me up. <laughs> Do you feel why like not? you did it justice, though? Yeah. I didn't spend as much as I expected to spend. I actually came home with money, which I was surprised at. I was very surprised. No. Nice. Yes. Yeah. What about you? What about you? Um, no, I don't think I went wild. There, there were definitely treats for me and things that I might, some ideas in the pipeline. But was that like, yeah. I could. I felt very inspired when I came away. Yes, Looking I yes triggered that. Oh, I could maybe try that, and that works nicely with that. And a bit of a squish yeah. and, and a discovery that so many of the indie dyers are using yak in their sock bases at the moment. And the colours are stunning yeah. and I just kept picking them up and then having to put them down because those things irritate me. And I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. And it's like, it won't bother me on my feet, but it'll be the knitting. The knitting. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I my issue... Sure. Yes, I had a couple of sads because I went to a couple of colours and you stopped me at one point and a couple of them I discovered myself where I was like, oh, I want that. And then it was 100% merino. There was no nylon in it and I just don't know what to knit with that other than shawls and I don't really knit many shawls I have knit some so, socks with 100% merino if it's got a nice high twist but I know I'm not going to get a great deal of wear out of them and it's just no. a lot of hours to put in and it, yeah I, I feel like I'm wasting the yarn doing that as well because it's yeah. just, you just know you're gonna wreck it within a matter of months so yeah so that was a shame because there was um a couple in particular that I really wanted and they just didn't have it in the sock base at all. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's not for I had a few. So, yeah. Yeah. But never mind. But it was so never lovely mind. because we've had so much excitement yes. building up to go into Yarndale. And it was only the second time that we met each other. So it was just like, yeah. Yeah, and we spent the whole weekend. <laughs> yes. Whole weekend together. It was brilliant. It was really good. And we haven't fallen them out. No, <laughs> we're still doing there. the podcast. <laughs> we're still here. We're still talking. <laughs> no, it was brilliant. I had such a lovely time seeing everybody. Like some of the people that I mean, obviously there's you, and then there's the other people that I met up with that I arranged to go with. I, the last time I seen them was last year, Andale, so it's been a whole year. Mm. So it's like, oh, it's so nice to like see everybody again and catch up. Yeah, and your your Not, group of friends made me feel so welcome. Yes, so lovely. Yes. I feel like I've made some new friends. It was yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. Big, big hello, big hello to Ange and Em. Yeah, they kept me giggling all weekend. Those two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think my only my only problem with the entire weekend was that we didn't get enough knitting time together because we got kicked out of the pub. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> How many of you are now trying to guess what we might have done to get kicked out of the pub on a Saturday night? You'll never guess. <laughs> no, no. Half past nine, kicked out of a pub. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. Go on, Kelly. What do we get kicked out for? Dun, dun, dun. Nothing. 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 They're closed. Yeah, Shocking. We we'd have a really good story to share with you guys, but no, no. Apparently, the Toby Carver shuts at half past nine on a Saturday. The only pub around our hotel as well, and they closed and kicked us out, and we had nowhere to go, so we all just went to bed. I was starting to think about custard. I was just getting to that point where I thought none of us could, could think about dessert because we were stuffed. 
And then someone reminded me at the table, I can't remember who it was, that they do a bottomless jug of custard. And I was like, I couldn't right now. I hadn't heard that. Yeah, I love custard. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I was getting ready for my rum. Yeah. That's what I was getting ready for. I didn't get a drink. I had, I had, I had a bottomless Diet Coke. Okay. And I was on my second one, and I had about this much left. Excuse my plaster. I had about this much left. And um, and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to get to the end of there, and then I'm going to get a rum. Spice drum and coke. And then they rang that bleeding bell. Said, right, everybody out. I was like, what? Even and us. Be rum. Even us. We really I know. Good. I was sitting there lovely knitting, just being nice and quiet. <sighs> I said, it didn't even I? rock and roll. It was quiet where we were sat. So that's something mm-hmm. we said. It's the fact we're mm. knitting. Everybody's abandoned us. No, they knew it shut at half past nine. Yeah. <laughs> Shows we don't get out very much, doesn't it? So I know. Absolutely nine. shocking. So I, I pointed out to Kate. I think we're going Katie again. We're, we're <laughs> tired. We are so tired. Yeah, very tired. Weekend. And I know you're not yes. feeling sorry for us. Because we've had a lovely weekend away and now we're exhausted. But... <laughs> We signed in to record and realised we're both wearing black. We are in Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. I want to be in Yarndale. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Such a no. lovely, lovely time. <laughs> it was. That, it was great. That said, though, we, we were saying about Yarndale this oh. year just seemed to be lacking something. And it was odd. Yeah. It was um, odd. None of us can really put our finger on. on what it was. And then I saw, I got back and I saw some social media posts and people saying it was missing its vibe. <clears> and it was, that's the word I was looking for. It was just. Yeah. It wasn't the missing. same. I've only been once. You've been a lot of times. I've only been once before, which was last year. Last year it was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. I was only there for the one day on the Saturday. I was exhausted when I got out, but it was just amazing. And that's why we decided that we were going to do two days this year so that we could absorb it a bit better and just really enjoy it and like relax a little bit more. And although that happened, it just wasn't the same. It just wasn't the same, especially the Saturday. The Sunday, I think, was a little bit better, but still, it just wasn't the same. I don't Somebody know. Somebody thought that maybe it was the staggered entry times because before you would be stood outside, you'd be chatting to everybody that was queuing. It had such a lovely atmosphere and it was all beautifully decorated. And this year, the decoration was minimal, to say the least. Um, mm-hmm. There was so none in the town at all. And normally the town is really lovely decorated and that I didn't see any. Yeah. So that initial experience going into the the venue and even when you go out to sit outside and chat with friends and and have a cuppa just didn't have that same no party feel i mean for us yarnies that's a party you know it's that yeah you want to go yeah. decorated with your yarn bombs but that wasn't there um, no i mean the trees were decorated there was a couple of buntings hanging around the trees and things but I remember last year, I mean, it was a little bit sunnier last year as well. So that probably didn't help. That it was a bit dull, wasn't it? And, and kind of windy and things. Yeah. But there was people all sitting on like their crocheted blankets and stuff on the green last year. And, everything, and there just wasn't any of that. There was hardly any seating outside. It was really difficult to find a seat. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It just wasn't quite... I've, I loved it. I, I loved it. But I didn't love it as much as I have. Which is a shame. It's been a nice shame. If we could get to the bottom of what it was it was missing. I think yeah. it's that sense of community that was missing. Maybe. Yeah. It wasn't being built outside <clears throat> the big meetup. Yeah, before you got in. Before yeah. you got in. So yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed next year normal service will resume. Yeah. That is the highlight of my Yarny calendar. It, yeah, same. I think inside there was and I know, like, I I know a lot of the indie dyers and a lot of them weren't there this year. And I think because a lot of them find it too stressful to do at the time of year that it is because then they've got their advents to do and it's just a lot to prepare for the show and then do their advents as well. And I think a lot of them have, have stopped. And then I know of two, exa- like, two who were there this year have both said they're not doing it next year. So there's another two gone. Um 
there's two there's a, a good few who weren't there and and one of them who is like a friend of mine jess from skiing in the stitch i booked she was there shopping on the sunday and she said she's really happy she didn't do it and she won't be doing it and she's thinking of stepping back from a lot of yarn shows like that you could see that that was missing and i think they've filled it with a lot more like fabric and embroidery and other um like crafts which is lovely but it's called yarndale and when you're walking around and you're seeing jewelry and things it's a bit like hang on like that's yeah. not what i'm here for it's beautiful it's lovely i really like appreciate the work but that's not why i'm here i'm here for yarn so why is it all so that was weird there was a lot of stores that i was just walking straight past so wasn't because i was like well that that's nothing to do with me so mm. i'm gonna keep going so and yeah the other thing that slightly irked and i'm not i'm not going to go into a lot of details <clears> because i don't want to have to put a trigger warning on this because it will undermine what i'm about to say is they they had a very large memorial type <clears> exhibition <throat> with quilting um that came with no warning really so if your lives have been affected by that subject matter and you were out for your day out you were just faced with this and it was the first reminder um and, and i felt yeah that needed yeah. some warning for that yeah to be there. definitely yeah it did it did because that was at the very beginning of the top aisle as well if you started at the end, you would have got to it last, but I didn't. I, that was the first thing I walked into, and I was like, yeah. "Whoa!" Yeah. And it was a, it was a lot. Yeah. Absolutely, raise awareness. <clears throat> and I oh am, yeah, but a thousand give percent. Me a warning that yeah. that is what I'm going to be faced with upon yeah. entering the show. So, yeah. Definitely. That's, that's our little moan over and done with it. It's like, yes, yeah. we had a fabulous time. Actually, to oh. being totally honest, this year it didn't quite give the, didn't the hit anticipated the excitement, I think, mm. that, that we had. But yeah, I'll be back next year because, you know. Yeah, because it's Yarndale and it is, the, it is the one, isn't it? And it's like, so yeah, I will be back next year. But I feel like if it's the same vibe as this year that might be my last i don't know i hate to say it mm. might be mine i might be like trying to find a different one to yeah. spend my time in i don't know we'll see what happens but yeah yeah hopefully they'll they'll hear the the comments and and have a little think yeah. of what they can do to to bring back the show that we love absolutely yeah. love yeah, but we still did quite a lot of damage to our bank balances. So. Oh yeah, just um, a bit. <laughs> oh, I know. So, do you want to go through yours, or do you want me to go through? Or should we do like, I got this, you got this, I got this. Well, as you, you purchased more than I did, show me one of yours. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to dig in a bag because I've got a bit. <laughs> I've got my big Yandale bag from last year, and it is full to here. Nice. <laughs> so, that is a job well done oh dear do you know what i did a rubbish job on the saturday i bought four things on the saturday and that was it and then all the girls were sitting there going what's the matter with you and they were like bringing all these things out and i was like just nothing really grabbed me like it it did for me it's got to really really grab hold of me and go i'm coming home with you right this is this i'm yours and if it doesn't I keep going until that happens. But then once that happens, then it's like, right then. <laughs> and it did happen. I'll get that one out. It was so funny seeing first. it. was like you, you bought the first skein and then it was like, and you're coming home with me and you're yes. coming home with me. Yes, that's, that's <laughs> how it goes. Home. Yes, I know. <laughs> so this was the one that grabbed me. So this is from the Dye Shack, isn't it? Yes, the Dye Shack. It's called Amplified.
and I love it. That's so a it's a sock. It's a sock yarn. Yeah, there was a couple of the girls were like, oh, where did you get that from? <laughs> so I think a few of them might go back for it. But that's the one that got me first, amplified from the dye shack. And I told her that as well. I said, you're my first purchase because it really had to grab me. And she was like, oh, thank you. She was really happy. <laughs> So I love the dye shack. I did go back the next day and get a mystery bag from her as well, which um, is this one. And it has this inside, which I loved, which was all Ooh. sparkly. Does that go nicely with the, the skein that you bought? Kind of. It's not too bad, you know. Nice. So that was, because that was a mystery as well. You just have to pick whatever. And it also came with a dye stack ship sticker. <laughs> and I got this, which I was like, oh. And when you open it up, squeak, squeak. Oh, Fion. You've woken Fion with the squeaking. Oh, did I wake up? She probably thought it was a mouse. Yeah. And it had, oh, can you see? It had, how do I show these? I'm dropping them on the floor. The bulb markers inside. Lovely, and they, and they match the yarn as well because they were like purple and silver. And I was like, bargain, and came in handy on Sunday. My little wardrobe was <laughs> malfunction. Yes. I had a dress that kept oh, it's a squeaky mouse. It's not oh, a mouse. No. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dress that kept slipping off my shoulder, it was very annoying. I just kept my jumper on in the end. <laughs> it's a little bit warm as well, wasn't it? It was warm. So what was your first? I have now, I cannot remember which was the actual first, I think, yarn-wise. It Ooh, was the, the yarn, yarn badger. badger. So She's very clever. Let's have a little look, see if we can. Oh, that's gorgeous. I've got to kind of work out how to be a professional YouTuber. <laughs> Forget me not. Um, merino nylon sock set. It is ah. so pretty. So the Anne Badger does like the self striping, perfectly striped. Yes, she's very clever. I said yes. to her, You're so clever. And she went, I don't know about clever. I was like, Yes, you are. And like they're amazing. She does. She has all the feet along the side with all the socks on, and she, yeah, they're very, very universally striped, so uniformly striped. Is that the right term? Yeah, yeah. perfect stripes. Yeah, and she has lots of different colours to choose from. Yeah, I went quite pastely for me, but this this really spoke to <laughs> me with the um the fuchsias and the pinks. And the nice beautiful. fresh green and teal and <laughs> yeah, just just near my little friend hanging out. <laughs> Did you buy anything from the um, the yarn bodger? I didn't. I didn't buy from the yarn bodger. I think because in my mind, when I'm shopping, I'm kind of shopping for future designs, and I know that I can't really design with self striping sock yarn. And also, I never get time to knit, like, a pair of socks for myself unless it's a design. I just don't. So, like, I do when it's, like, um, like I'm knitting your teasel socks and everything. But, I mean, look how long them teasel socks are taking me. Yeah. And then I've got another pair of socks, which is a Rachel Coopy pair. And I've kind of done the toe on them because they toe up. I know you love that. <laughs> They toe up ones, and they've been in my list. <laughs> they've been in my list to do for years. They're re they're a really old pattern, um, and I've literally done the tour, and I just haven't had time to do any more. So it's like to buy a pair of self striping is just like, it, and they're, they're not. It's not a cheap skein either, is it? No, it's like one. It's it's very high end, like. 
pricing wise the arm badger so it's just yeah I can't I, I can't <laughs> I always look at them and go oh, I want them and I want them and I, but I'm like you're never gonna have time it's just gonna sit in the drawer forever so no walk away <laughs> I will design something with that sock set oh will you I, I do like to play with the self-striping yarns oh ah. so that, that is one of the reasons that I picked the yarn badger self-striping up because I ah. for as long as I can remember they've had this self-striping in, yeah so you should be able to find something that works the same moving forward um anything that we do mention today in the podcast um will be in the notes below so you can trot off check it out for yourself and yeah treat yourself yes okay. definitely i'll put it on that list for the festive season that some of you have we won't mention oh yeah the C word no not yet so, yeah. so i know in the podcast where we talked about yandale a lot and we were on about shops we wanted to go to Mm-hmm. One of yours was Le and Mian. Oh, I know you yes. wanted, you wanted to get that lovely autumnal scheme that she'd done, and I heard you asking her, and she didn't have it, did she? No, I hadn't realised that um, for the Flower Power Fund, Le Family Yarns was available for a month, and then it moves on to a different dyer. And yeah, a month had been and gone. So I note to self next year hopefully if they do it to be quicker and not wait till you're there yeah so did you get anything from her in the end i'm looking at my pile no i didn't no <gasps> well i, I went did. back so many times thinking i should pick up something i could not walk away i went back three times i was with you Kelly and Nick from the Lear Family Yarn, and honestly, I was just obsessed. There was so, you know, when it's like the fishing line where there's a skein on the wall and it starts going, Come on, you're coming here, you pulling you that. in. I see, yeah, so many times the same one. She's still calling. To I me. did, and I kept going back. Well, the first day I ended up with this one, which is called Meadowland, and it's kind of like a mint. It's like cream and mint and like purple speckles. It's just oh, I'll tell blowing you out a little bit. <laughs> it's blowing out a bit, but I'll pop pictures up. But I bought this and then there was in the corner, there was these like autumnal colours and I, I just kept going and I was struggling them and I was walking away and then I kept coming back. So the next day on Sunday, I did go back and I got this one, which is dark truffle. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. It's got all these lovely tonals in there. But then, after I'd got that, there was the blues and the really darks in the corner, and they started pulling me over this way, and I was like... <laughs> so I took a photo of them, because I was like, unless I find something else similar, I'm coming back. So I did go back. Was this and your thought, last dash through on Sunday? After yeah, I this was Sunday. I and I went back and I got... Yes. <laughs> I got this one, which is Battleships. I just love it. Um, and Anne, so, did yeah. you steal that out of your bag? I was like, no, I'm she gonna... didn't. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on that one. I think she'll be after that. 
I know. Honestly, Lane Family Yarns, my one of my new favourite tyres. I, I I was just I was talking to Nick and I was saying you've just got too many nice ones. I have to keep coming back and he was just laughing at me. He's like, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> So yeah, stunning. But I don't Amazing. think there's a stain on that stand, and I'm really no. picky, um, that I wouldn't have bought. No, I know. Same. I, I just wanted everything. I want to go and live in their house and <laughs> roll around in their yarn shed or wherever they die stuff. I do. <laughs> em and I were having a conversation, and uh, I asked her, if you had a trolley dash, you had five minutes where you could fill your trolley with whatever you wanted in yarn dare, where would you go first? I don't know where Em would go. Go on. Woolly Mama. Yep. <laughs> She's obsessed with Woolly Mama. <laughs> she is. She loves Woolly Mama. Yeah, she said I would, I would head there and anything else would be a bonus. Is that I would just, yes. just be loading it into my trolley. Yeah. My well, I would be at Leith and Leanne. I'd be yeah. fighting you then. Get off. Yeah. <laughs> Get on that one. Get out of the way. It's mine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I would clear her out. <laughs> it was amazing. It would be interesting for anyone that's watching this to uh, leave in the comments. If you had five minutes to fill your trolley, which yarn dyer would... Oh, Fionn. Which yarn dyer would you um, be hitting up to fill your trolley? Yes. Trolley? Where would the trolley dash be? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, I'd love to know. Yeah. That's such a good one. That's such a good one. Now, I discovered there was a lady called Sable Yarns. Did you did you find Sable Yarns? Yes. She was closing down. We did ask her why, and she said she just lost she'd lost the love for it, which is really sad. Um, she was selling a lot of things off, but on the Sunday, we were still in there. On the Sunday, the show closed at four. And around about quarter past three, three thirty, she just slashed everything. She said, I don't want to take anything home. <laughs> so I ended up with this, which was ten pounds. Um, this is called Supermodel of the World. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like this lovely steel grey. And I got a sock set for five pounds. Wow. Which is called Miss Nina. So it's got this lovely silver grey and then this variegated blue and white and silver. But yeah, bless her. She said she'd lost the love and she was really happy to sell it off. She also just gave me, I don't know if I can find it. Hang on. Let me rummage in my Mary Poppins bag. There it is. She gave me this key ring. She said, just take them, just take them. And she's got her logo on the front. But on the back, each one was different. But they had like a how to do a make one left, mine is. And it tells you how. <laughs> Some of them had knitting abbreviations on. Some of them had make one right, which Ange took. She was like, I need that. So she took that. I can never remember how to do one of them. So she took that. But she was just giving them away. Bless her. So I think she was cleared through. But yeah, did you get anything from her? No, I didn't. But I do have a card on a key ring um, that I've had many years. It's got Kitchener Stitch instructions on it. It's really handy. I usually keep yeah. it to my um, sock knitting bag. But, oh, and, yeah, that's um, really good. I've got a little set of crochet hooks, mini crochet hooks on a key ring, different sizes. Oh, so drop yeah. A stitch. Yeah, those two I things have them. I'm off about with my sock knitting. They're usually... They go together. Brilliant. Can I take a minute just to just check, yes. just check this out? I mean, I know. Really. Unicorns and yarn. And a so that was mug. from Siobhan's Craft, wasn't it? It was from Siobhan's Craft. Did you get anything else from Siobhan? Not that. I did. Did you? What else did you get? Do you want to see? 
Yeah. This is going to crinkle for a bit. Not one, but two necklaces. Oh, yes, I remember you getting these. A sparkly knitter necklace and the hooker necklace. <laughs> I got a mystery bag from her and I love what's inside. I got this little mini pretty and I got two stitch markers. Oops, dropped one. One is a macaron. Is it a macaron? Yeah. That's what you, they're not macaroons, are they? Macarons, they're macaroons different. Macaroons are those coconuts. Coconutty ones, yes. Things, aren't they? So this is a a macaron and this is um a bar of chocolate white chocolate ah. so good so they were my mystery bag from i love mystery bags and it's also a 10 percent voucher um for shopping online with siobhan's crafts mm -hmm. in there so how oh, good is that yes. i do love a mystery bag i'm a bit of a sucker for a mystery bag <laughs> i bargained in and a bargain bin. I also got a mystery bag from Cuddle Bums, which who I love. And um, it was I, I got rid of the bag because I got this on the Saturday. But this was inside this lovely little tub with a llama on, or an alpaca. Would it be an alpaca? And inside is these tiny, tiny little minis with this stitch marker. I can turn him. There we go. Gingerbread Fat man. Gingerbread man. <laughs> and these these tiny tiny minis. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They're really small, <laughs> but I just love it. Did I do love just, a mystery. You should just body shame a gingerbread man. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a chunky gingerbread man. Get back on. Right there we go. So yeah, new notions tub for me too. The gingerbread men have feelings too, you know. They do. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that when you're biting their heads off. <laughs> not for me. No, not no. for me either. Ginger biscuits, it's like cannibalism. No. <laughs> Doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not oh, the same biscuit, sure. but yeah. <laughs> I'm 90% cake after the weekend. Oh. Cake? Yes. Well, not cake, my favourite. I had the last slice when I got home last night because nobody had eaten the last slice. Nobody ever wants to take the last slice, did they? They're like, oh, no. Oh, you know when there's a... <laughs> it's like that thing where there's the tub and everything. Help yourself to cake, but when there's the one last slice, no one wants to reach out and grab it. Oh, I, I should know. remember that. Maybe that's etiquette. I'm like, oh, no, that's okay. Someone's okay. <laughs> cake yourself. <laughs> So I had it last night, my last slice of walnut cake. Mm -hmm. <sighs> my slimming world consultant's going to hate me on Wednesday. Never mind. <laughs> Break of scales. <laughs> you had a good time. I did. Yeah. So what else did you get? Anything else? What am I going to show you? Yes, anything else. What am I going to show you next? <laughs> Moffy and the squid. This oh, is gonna, okay. This is going to surprise you. Okay. Oh, okay. It's an unusual choice for me, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice, though. It has um, coppery tones, burgundy, yeah. red. Pop a picture in. Nice. Yeah. You can tell you lots of pictures. I do. Do more justice than, than I will here. And it's called Treasures and Secrets on the Sock Base. And Very it's got nice. a really nice twist to this ply. So I'm thinking it should give me some good stitch definition yeah um oh it's pretty uh, i like yeah, that slightly unusual for my color palette but it will go nicely with so many other things i've got as well so that was muffy and the squid oh i've got I've quite never a bought few muffy and the squid i've got quite a few in my stash and i always go for the speckles so this time I yeah know, i'm going for something different yeah 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 this is it isn't it I realised that I had a bit of a colour theme going on by the end of the day, which is probably everything that's left in my bag, to be fair. <laughs> but I ended up... Now, I did say that I wanted to go to Pigment and Ply.
when I got there, she was one of the ones who all the base, all the colours that I wanted, she only had it on the 100% merino base. But I did find something in her bargain basket, which was this. Oh, yes. For a minute, I couldn't remember it. Now, hang on. I'm going to have to look up how we pronounce this again because I've forgotten. <laughs> this is based on... This is from her Witcher collection, which she did last year. And um, it's based on the dragon in the Witcher. Just, just like, you know, don't come at me if I get this wrong. Mi erg ta braka. Mi erg ta braka. There you go. That is the dragon from the Witcher. But that's what it's based on. It's just beautiful. But I do love pigment and ply. Even her labels are gorgeous. She's just... But, yeah, she's very, very variegated in a lot, though, which I kind of try to stay away from because when I'm doing lace, it's just gone. So I try to stick to tonals a bit more, which you'll see. But, um, but yeah, I just found that, and I was thinking, well, that's not too bad. <laughs> and it's in the bargain bucket. <laughs> Oh, I can see that's pigment and ply straight away. <laughs> yeah, they, they were new to me. You've mentioned them to me a few times. Um, so I went for a look, and and again, so many beautiful yarns, but they yeah. had the yak in the base, and that wasn't going to happen. Um, I did have to send Kelly a picture of this and say, you speak geeky nerd. Can you possibly tell me <laughs> what... That says, which is, it, I mean, it's a blur anyway, but I had no chance. So you came to my rescue and you it said is. it was called Seven. That's the bit I can do. And then you educated me on what a Nyad is? Yeah. Yeah. Go Nyad. I think, oh, are you going to test me now? Because I might be wrong. I think <laughs> it's like a, like a fairy type thing, a Nyad. Let me yeah. see. Nyad. A water nymph. Yeah, I said a water fairy to you, didn't I? A you water did. nymph said to inhabit a river, spring or waterfall. Yeah, a nymph or a dragonfly. Yeah. So a naiad. It's it's like a water water nymph. But water so water fairy. Look at that. Yes. It's so seven naiads. It's absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. Mm. Yeah. I know. Really happy with Ooh, that. I can't wait to see what you do with that. Yeah. She's done it. It's Jess. Jess's pigment and ply, and she she is, she tends to do a lot of things from artwork, and she's very very good at it. Yeah, stunning. A stall is always gorgeous, but she is very variegated. So I have to like try and pick and choose. She had a new collection out, and I hoped it was there, but it wasn't. So there was a couple I'd had wrote in my list that I wanted, but they weren't there. And then when I did find something that I was like, oh, I want it, it just wasn't on the right base. So. I said I asked her about it and she said she was gonna update a shop at the end of November, so I might have to do a little bit of shopping before mm -hmm. Christmas. <laughs> but I do love it. If I miss it, do give me a nudge. <laughs> yeah, I will. So, I, so will I, can go and have a look, I love so many of them. Um so I'm interested to see them on the uh, the sock base. Yeah. But having yeah. said though, this is hundred percent superwash merino, so this will oh, is probably it? go in um, a shawl or a or a cowl. Sure. But yeah, yeah, I could not leave that behind i know yep. it's hard sometimes isn't it yeah well i talking of that my entire sunday i'd walked past the lonely knitter which is somebody else i said that i wanted to go and see and I, I, like laura she's absolutely brilliant i love her i'd walked past a couple of times and this one scheme kept catching my eye and then we kept going around and i was looking for different things and then at the end of the day we were about to leave and I was with, it was just me and Ange left. Everybody else had gone. <laughs> and I said, Ange, I have to go to the Lonely Knitter. I cannot get this skein out of my head. If I walk home, like if I walk, walk home, it's an hour and a half drive, <laughs> not walking. <laughs> if I go home, I know I'm going to regret not getting it because it was just constantly, was looking around everywhere else. But this one skein kept going, that's at the Lonely Knitter, you know. <laughs> so I ran round and said to Laura, this scheme's been in my head all day. And then I picked it up and it was 100% merino. And I went, oh, no. And I went, have you got it in a sock base? And she said, yes, there's one left. <laughs> a lady had been in just before me and bought a sweater quantity, but left one. And oh. I got it. So oh, it's oh. this one. It's called, oh, Alison Hightower. 
which I assume is from something. I'll have to look that up. She does a lot of Doctor Who and things. Maybe it's a Doctor Who, but I don't watch Doctor Who. That's her label, The Lonely Knitter. She is lovely. It's this gorgeous greeny teal. Let me look up who Alison Hightower is. I, I don't think that's your colour. I think you should give that to me. <laughs> oh, she's from Game of Thrones. I should know that. But I don't. <laughs> there you go. That is who that is. There we go. I haven't watched Game of Thrones for ages. I can't remember everybody. There's loads of people in it. I haven't watched it. <laughs> Something else I know, it's thing. not your thing. It's no. not your thing. <laughs> It's I've very much my thing. Film, which I really didn't expect you to enjoy. <laughs> I, I loved that. it. So good. I heard you doing quotes <laughs> on the Sunday. I haven't watched it. I am being I sure. will. <laughs> I will watch it just out of pure curiosity. <laughs> Made me laugh so but, much. Yeah. Oh, I bet. That film. Yeah. There's so <laughs> many. I, I mean, I wasn't. Um, a child that played with Barbies or, or had Barbies. I've always been quite crafty and oh, creative. Um, but I knew the the ambulance, the Barbie house, that, oh, you'll love it then if you had Barbies. The I did. I've the still got day. my Barbie. I still have my Barbie and I used to knit for her. I used to knit clothes for her. So, yeah, I do still have my Barbie. Very, very small. Little, little skirts like this big. <laughs> Didn't take me long. So have you ever seen the book by um, Nikki Epstein? The Barbie no. and Me book? No. So it's the Barbie clothes, and I think there are uh, child-sized versions of the same sweaters and clothes. That's amazing. I would have yeah, loved that, that when I was little. Get a copy somewhere. Um, oh, wow. Brilliant idea. Yeah, that's a really good idea, because I would have loved that. Yeah. You, you I need to giggle. The Barbie movie is right up there. Yes, yeah. I am going to watch it at some point. Can I show another one? Can I show yeah. another one? I'm running out. Oh yeah, you've only got yeah, I've only got four four things left. Things. Ian Cross Jones. I said I would go. Oh, you did! Yeah, this is really not. I'm gonna have to have a look, think about this camera. But this, yeah, they, they didn't have very much in the hate and four ply, which I really, really love. Which is their mm -hmm. um, merino cashmere nylon blend, I think, which is the right. Um, but this is the Brimham four ply, which is. Um, 85% merino, 15% nylon. So it's got a little bit of something, the structure, but it is yeah, really soft. soft. And this mm -hmm. really nice dark putty colour. It's called oak, but yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. It's that nice warm, beigey, pinky, minky colour. Yeah. Yeah, so now, I looked that. at Eden Cottage yarn and I did pick two skeins because I showed you. I had them next to each other, but I put them back and I didn't go back for them. But do you know what it is, right? I love Eden Cottage Yarn. Please don't get me wrong here. <laughs> I don't like when a booth has the skeins just shoved in boxes. I like them all hanging up so I can see them, where they're all on hooks and every hook is a different colour. I like that. But when there's crates and they're just laid in crates and they're like layered, I feel, I, I just don't like it. I feel like it's a bit, like, kind of like a jumble sale type feel. Okay. Where I've got to pull things out and look at it, and I can't see it properly. And then I've got to put it back in, and, and then I feel like I'm making a mess, so I don't want to, like, go too far. And so it, it kind of makes me, like, step back and go, oh. So I don't go back. And that's, I think that's why, because those schemes, I remember them. And there's a lot of schemes that I picked up and put back, and I cannot remember them at all. But those two schemes are stuck mm -hmm. in my head. So I should, I think, if they were hanging up, I probably would have bought them. But because they were in the box, even though I pulled them out and had a good look at them, it's just, it's the, I don't want to make a mess of your stall 
feeling and I felt like I just needed to get them back in there and, and put them exactly where they were and and it's like oh I don't like it so yeah it puts me off I totally get that I mean we were saying I can't remember which stall it was but the people that just literally pile it up onto a table or those hand dyed yeah. skeins and just everything looks muddy then because yeah. you've just got every colour on top of every colour yeah I'm it's never really difficult. to stop and look no, just... it's really difficult to see what you want. It's, yeah. it's a weird way of doing it. I don't like it like that. It takes so yeah. much work to dye those skeins. It's like I know. Why? I know. Why would you do that? I don't know. No, I don't either. I'm sure some people yeah, really it's like it, but yeah, it's not. Yeah. For me. No, it's not for me either. But yeah. I think that's why I didn't go back. But I loved, I love her stuff. Every time I look at it, I always think it's, it always looks really glossy and lovely. And like, and you can see that it's soft. You don't even have to touch it to know. You can just <laughs> see that it's beautiful. Like, do not put grubby hands on any of this, please. Like, it, you can just tell. But it's just the way her stall is laid out that it kind of makes me go, I can't, I can't touch it. I'm not allowed. <laughs> I don't want to make a mess. <laughs> So, yeah, never mind. I will get some stuff from her, though, eventually. And a very different vibe with somebody new that we discovered at the show called mm -hmm. Dystopic Fiber. Yeah. But a, yes. a picture off of the stand. It just grabbed us, didn't it? That yes now it's neon mushrooms just yeah i love his mushrooms over. he isn't new to me but i haven't bought from him before i followed him on instagram for a long time he does dye everything based on real life mushrooms which i think is such a fantastic like way of doing things but i did buy from him this time i could not walk away which was this one. See, I told you there's a theme, love. <laughs> but this one, I just, oh my God, I just absolutely love it. This, I think this might be my favourite skein from the weekend. Wow. It's called Winter Shrew Mint. <laughs> which I just, it's fantastic. And this label is a very creepy label, but I kind of like it. It's like the man has a mushroom for his head. He I did know. tell me that he bases he uses he draws a lot of information from The Last of Us, which is basically a um apocalyptic, apocalyptic uh game, which is now being turned into a TV show. About um a certain fungus this is a true thing. There's a certain fungus in, in real life that can I think if the animals eat it or if it, it gets on them somehow, it can um, get inside and it basically takes over their brain and controls them from the inside mm. and the animal loses all sense of itself and the mushroom takes over and it just walks deers around and things. And this, The Last of Us, is based on if that happened to humans, if the mushroom got into a human and took over us. And that's basically what it's about. It's a bit freaky. Especially that it's a true mushroom, and that's what he bases a lot of his like stuff on. Gets a lot of inspo from it. Yeah. I had no idea that's what the game was about. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have it's ca it's a zombie thing. I, I no, I haven't played it, but my partner has, and I've watched him play. Um, and I've watched the TV program as well. So it's kind of like they turn into zombies, but it's because of these mushrooms. They've got mushrooms growing out of their heads and all sorts. It's very freaky. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just to freak her out a bit. No, leave the mushrooms. Alone, I think. <laughs> but yeah, his stall looked amazing. He had these mushrooms across the top, didn't he? And they were all like neon lit up. And yeah, we'll put some pictures up. But yeah, fantastic. I loved that. I had that skein that you've just shown in my hand, and I could not think of what I would do with it, so it it went back. Oh, yeah, the exact same one. It's like, oh, it's yeah, going to be I some socks can't. of some sort. Yeah. Mushroom socks. It's <laughs> really pretty. <laughs> it is. It's gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous. usually the teal colours that um, appeal to me. Yeah. And me. Teal, want... and, teal and plum is me. Something Go on, what's next? My, something from my shopping list. 
Oh, you got your journey, journey crawl bag. I, I forgot about that. Yes. My my little purse. So that will be keeping all my loose change and bits. So don't use it yeah, very often brilliant. now. Coins. You just no. you just you just need a few for that. You sure I'm trying. <laughs> So I shopped at someone else, which I've known about for a while, but never bought from, and that was Needle and Fred. And I went, I, I kept, she was another one that I kept going back to, but there was a few. She had some hanging up, which had some laid on a table, but they were all separately. They weren't piled on top of each other, so that wasn't too bad. Um, and I kept going back and picking some up and putting them down and walking away. And so I did go back and I ended up getting this one. So it's kind of like a blues and greens and there's a couple of browns in there it's really pretty i don't think it has a name though because i cannot see one on there at all oh hang on i found it <laughs> <laughs> so this is is that flu flu right there you Do go you know, i was gonna say it's giving me toothpaste vibes <laughs> <laughs> it's quite dark but yeah it's got like deep purples in it but then it's got greens there. So, yeah, I loved it. So that's Needle and Fred. She's just changed all her um, bees over. So she had a few with the old skein on. She got, has little, little cats. I think Fred might be a cat. I'm not sure. <laughs> but there you go. I could be just totally making that up. That's usually my job on the podcast, is just to make things up. <laughs> start chatting away and then realise, did I dream that? <laughs> I really should check. So what else did you get? I got a badge. Iron on, so on. Trouble at mill. Yes. Badge. Trouble at mill. Yeah. Badge. That's an old saying from when I was a kid. Trouble at mill. <laughs> cool to me. Cool to me. For anybody who is not from the UK, trouble at mill might <laughs> I'm like, what is that? <laughs> what does it even mean? <laughs> it's kind of like a... What is it? It's like, oh, there's a problem, isn't yeah. it? Basically. Yeah. There's, there's an issue. Oh, there's trouble at mill. That's from the Unruly Stitch, which I think are the same ladies who ran the Knitting Goddess, but now they don't do yarn. Oh. So all the, the really cool bits and pieces that they used to do the um, bags and badges and all of those bits and pieces. If you mm. really like that kind of side of the business, then the Unruly Stitch, you should go and check them out. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I recommend a, a nosy at that. And then I got a gadget. <gasps> I am a sucker for a gadget. Um, and it's a multi-pom. So you can make lots of pom-poms using this wire frame. Ah, yes. By wrapping and then tying them into individual little bubbles and then trimming away. So I thought I'm going to have yes, a Yes, I filmed that. you getting your tutorial. Did you? I probably look yeah. absolutely gormless. But... <laughs> I usually do. I'll be your first. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I was brought back 
because I yeah. would really love a wreath made with pom poms. Oh, but, uh, so would I. So long to do. So That's I will. Yeah. And all different sizes you can make with this. And oh, mess. can you really? Yeah. Yes. The mess of trimming a pom pom is just <sighs> pom pom yeah. mess. Pom pom yeah. mess. Pom pom mess. <laughs> they are a bit of a nightmare, aren't they? I am down to one last something something to share. What have you got? Well, I have three things left, so I'll show you two because what two, both of them are quite quick. Well, this one is. So this was from this is what I've forgotten. This from is from the dye shop. Do, do, do. And this was because Ange had bought some needle stoppers on the Saturday and she was using them on the Saturday night. And I was like, where did you get them from? <laughs> and she had these donkeys and they were just fantastic. So then I went back to the dye shack and I got some dinosaurs. They're cute. So they're just little <laughs> needle stoppers. I don't know where you stick the needles. Oh, it's up the, up the belly where oh, the that, rope is. Really... Yes. And as long as it's not up their bum because that would have been a bit weird, wouldn't it? Yes. Up the belly. <laughs> and that, they're just, I love them. So they were from the dye shop, and one of the, this this was the first thing I bought because I said it was this. Put myself in the eye, but it's not that wasn't true. It was actually these, but I went specifically to get these cables, and now I'm really disappointed, and I will tell you why. So I got the mindful cables from Knit Pro with the swivel ends because. M, who was with us, she had some, and I just thought they're amazing. And I just, when I'd seen the mindful thing come out from Knit Pro, I'm not going to lie, I thought they were just like trying to cash in on the whole mental health thing and everything and just have them a nice relaxing blue, call them relaxing names. And I, that's what I thought it was. But since then, I've found out that they are like actually really good and they've got these swivel ends and everything and they're lovely. So I got two pair stupidly looking back i got two two sets of 80 centimeter to do socks with because i do a lot of socks on magic loop so these you've got your cable and this i'm holding the cable steady but this end spins around so that nothing can get like twisted and really nice right makes it a little bit easier and then i found out that even though any single Knit Pro interchangeable tip will fit these, they don't go any lower than a three millimeter. And I knit on two point two five for my sock. <laughs> so I've got these two cables, and I couldn't get any tips for them. Um, I can, I can get tips from three millimeter and above, but that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted two two point two fives so that I had two of these lovely sock needles and I looked and looked and looked and I was umming and ahhing about well maybe I should get a four millimeter because I do a lot with them and but I ended up not getting anything and just walking away and thinking I'm just going to have a think and decide what to do later so I was a bit like oh it kind of flattened me sausage roll do you know what I mean like oh. You did. You definitely did have a sad, and then a bit of a mad. I did have then a sad, and then sad. yes, mm. I did. I did have a sad and a mad. I did because I was like, "Why? What, what are you doing that for? Like, it's, it's sock knitters. <sighs> Annoying. Never mind. I will figure something out. I'm not going to get rid of them. Like someone was saying, well, you could just sell them, but I don't want to sell them because I really wanted them. <laughs> But they're not good like this. Yeah. <laughs> they need to have needles on the end. So, yes, that was my sad, mad purchase. But oh. never mind, I'll figure it out. I will let you know when I do. So, what's your last one? I've got one left. What's your last one? They were on my shopping list, are I, good girl? Um, this is Dragon Hill Studios. No oh, batteries yeah. required. Oh, I love I that. It's gonna I was with you when you got that. Yes. Uh, yeah. How's that for a lovely striping? It's absolutely Brilliant gorgeous. Stripe. Yeah. Very happy girl with that. And they did also have a little mini in the black sparkle. So this oh, girl amazing. is going to have one funky pair of socks. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. Yes. I'm really happy with that. 
I could have bought a, a few from there, but I went with me. Brilliant. Happy, happy, happy girl. So is that your last thing? Yeah, I bought some buttons, but they're buttons, so I'm not going to bore you. And a um, a fabric panel. For I know something thing. else you bought that you've forgotten to touch yours, and you said it was on your list. Mm. <laughs> You're right, Kelly. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, come on now. <laughs> Ta-da! Yes! <laughs> How could you forget him? Oh. I popped him on the side thinking, oh, poor Horace. Horace. <laughs> but, yeah, he, he is my high cow. cow. Um, bow so this dermy head from St. Illinois. Sincerely Louise. I love Sincerely Louise. Yeah. 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 He's going to be amazing. A little mate. He, he's going in the camper van. So he'll yes. Go. You have yeah. to show him on here before he goes. Yeah. yeah. That, that's you have to show us when he's done. So we've got a couple amazing. of little jumpers to finish up at the end of this week and then I'm treating myself to some time to that. So oh, brilliant. It was one of the first things. I went to her and I said, I, I want this. Can you put it by for me? Yeah, she's a sweet oh, so and she said, did. Yeah. Um, she saw it that. So I went back with Brilliant. my waving my card at her. I didn't forget on my way out the door after I left you on Saturday before I went for my disco nap. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one last thing to share, which is from Rosie's Mormon. who do like so many, like they do mystery bags and they do all these like, oh, I can't even remember the, the stuff that they do, but they do all these like lovely little treasure hunt type things. And they um, poison Jane. We don't like Jane. They no, do poison no Jane. Jane. Yeah. If you, if I know. You can't tolerate lavender. Stop every away. scheme. Every scheme you buy from Rosie's Moments has a little pouch of lavender attached to it. And unfortunately... This Lavender girl, doesn't again. like Jane. So this Jane couldn't girl. go in. No. I know. I understand that. But, <laughs> but this didn't have lavender in. This was in a little bag. And it is. I've got this colour. I don't think it has a name. Oh, Spring. So it's called Spring. It's kind of like a beach to me. It's like sandy and turquoise. Yeah. But it's called Gift a Ball. And it says a skein of yarn filled with gifts. And it is sock yarn. It's 75% superwash and 25% nylon. And it's basically, you can see one there. All the way through, it has boop, little knitting things in there. I know this, I think that's a stitch marker there. And that's obviously a progress keeper there. But it's full of them. You can like kind of feel them a little bit. And <laughs> the man was telling me, He's lovely. I don't know his name, bless him, but he's lovely. Um, he said that you have to knit with it. He said some people cheat and just unravel and they all drop out. But I was like, no, I'm not doing that. i would be knitting with it and finding them like that. And he was going, that's what we want you to do. You want you have to knit with it as they drop out. And he said, but you need to knit over a hard floor. 
So you can hear them dropping because otherwise, if they fall on the carpet, he said some of them might stick in your feet and some might be sharp. And that freaked me out a bit. I was like, what's in here? <laughs> mushrooms, poisonous mushrooms. <laughs> So I hope there's no needles and things. But yeah. But I think it's full of stitch marks and everything. And in all honesty, this was um cheaper than some of the like full skeins with nothing else in it. And it's full oh. of stitch markers and stuff. That is just amazing. Rosie's moments is so good. Like her, I got a project bag from them last year, which is actually over there. Um and it was one of the cheapest project bags I've ever bought. And it's one of my best. It's amazing. It's such a good project bag. It's really deep and lots of room in it. And it was cheaper than any other I've bought. They're just, they're not expensive at all. They're a really like budget friendly shop. And they do so many fun things. It's really good fun in there. So yeah, it's such a shame you can't get in because of the lavender. Just go in with my, my inhaler strapped to my face. I know. I know. Like Bane. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, that was, that was, I think that's it. Is my bag empty? It's empty. There we go. Do you have I've a yarn quite ball? The, quite the whole. I do. I have a wooden yarn ball. You so, could oh, You see where I'm going with this That's a now. good you idea. Try and stop Fion making off with your goodies as you're using I that. I know. That yeah. past the parcel yarn. That's what it's like, isn't it? Past the parcel. I can't mm. wait. Yeah. That might be the first thing I, I, I get cast on because I'm just like, oh, what's inside? <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> I await the random oh. pictures. That just I know. Up. And one of them fell out and it was a little Santa hat, like a stitch marker Santa hat, but I poked him back in. I was like, no, you're not allowed out until I knit with you. Stop it, <laughs> cheater. <laughs> so I don't know what's in there, but I can't wait. Oh, I do look yeah. forward to uh, to seeing what you got. I know. Do you know what it's like when you come home and you're like, I've got all these beautiful skeins. Like, they're all next to me there now. I don't know if you can see them. But they're all next to me on the arm of the chair. And I'm like, oh, what can I cast on with first? And then when I think back to last year, I've got yarn still in a drawer from last year that I haven't cast on. And I remember yeah. the same feeling of going, oh, I'm going to do all the things. And that, so I'm like, oh, it's kind of sad in a way because it's like I know that some of you are going to be left for a while because I can't knit all the things. <laughs> do not have enough arms. No. We were looking at yarn for the uh, Stephen West M cow. Yes. Um, I said, oh, I'll shop for my stash, but I don't think I've got any solids. <clears throat> and then I started pulling out solid after solid and sending pictures to you. And so much of that, excuse me, is from the Edinburgh Yarn Festival. And that has got to be six That's or seven years, years ago. ago that yeah. I've been sitting there. And I was so enthused to get home and cast all the things with these yeah. yarns. So they might That's actually crazy, be getting isn't it? used now. It's definitely a separate hobby. Oh, Shopping for yarn. Yes. Yeah, the yarn It's collection. definitely... It's a separate hobby completely from the knitting. It is. Like I think I think it was this one. It probably is this one because of you saying that you picked it up and didn't know what to do with it. It's the dystopic fibre one. I remember you saying to me, What are you gonna do with it? And I said, I don't care, it's just coming up. <laughs> I don't care what it is. <laughs> it's just I'm having it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, there's no plans for any of this. <laughs> it's just like it had to be mine. <laughs> no. I was um, digging through the stash, looking for the um, the yarn for the MCAL, and I'll share this share this with you and share it with everybody else. <laughs> it popped to the top of the stash, and this was um, Dragon Hill Studios. Oh, oh wow! Giving me yeah. You've finding... mentioned that. Finding Nemo. Finding lines. Nemo. Yes. Yeah, so that's sitting there waiting to be turned into something oh. fabulous. Um, but I had these three skeins, um, but the MCAL said not variegated because otherwise, these bad boys. Have you ever shot with Giddy Aunt's yarns? Yes, I have one and I love it. I mean, that's, that was one from last year. When I was just talking there, that's what came into my head my Giddy Aunt one. Yeah, they're beautiful. And they've been sitting there 
waiting and waiting to be something. Oh. I really sometimes they just these justice. Yeah, this is it. Sometimes it's just not the right project for them, though, is it? It's no. got to be the right one. I know. But that was the one oh. I thought would have been the pale colour for yes. the, the skeins that are put together, but it's variegated, so it's it's not winning this race. But <laughs> I've got to come up with something for those. I was like, okay, I went through all the, the, the sock stash, and those were like, okay, you are getting used at some point soon so i'm leaving you I know. on the side leave them out yeah i do that and then after about six months i put them back in the drawer and go next time <laughs> <laughs> i can't look you in the eye anymore I'm, I'm, sorry. I, I'm sorry i know you hit me but you're gonna have to go back in there <laughs> <laughs> it's not you it's me <laughs> yeah Oh, it is 100%. 100%. I haven't fallen out of love with any of it, though. Like, when I pull it out, I'm like, I still love you. I still love you. I like, everything. There's nothing that I would want to de-stash. Like, people have said to me, why don't you de-stash? I'm like, no. No one's having these. Like, they're mine. But they're just, the right project hasn't come along for them yet. Yeah. And I'm sure that's what's going to happen to these guys. But you will get used eventually. Just chill. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh we had so much fun it was great it did. Yeah. <laughs> now i need to go and save up for next year <laughs> oh it's crazy well i best go and do some of the uh the knitting that pays the bills to replenish the bank balance i know um, same and i hope you've all enjoyed checking out what we've been up to and what we've been spending our pennies on yes uh -huh. and normal yeah. service will resume and hopefully you found somebody new to you that you want to go and check out yeah and we've secured God. some interviews for the main podcast so we've got two oh. interesting interviews coming up we do so keep tuned <laughs> So give us a subscribe if you haven't already. Come back and check us out again with all our different hit the like behind the scenes gossips and stuff. Yes, hit the like button. Give Tell us a thumbs friends. up. Tell your friends. And we oh, and we hit a hundred subscribers while we were at Yarndale. How good was that? I come home and I was like, how many have we got now? I was like, oh, <laughs> so exciting. So yes. Please keep spreading the word. And, uh, yeah, lots of fun. And we'll keep talking nonsense at you. Yes. Until next time, <laughs> love your yarn. <laughs> Bye. Be kind to it. Bye. <laughs>